Do you fancy a Christmas we're a bit, tree? We've been talking to Kate Winslet. We, have, we, we, we should do the competition, though, shouldn't we, really? We, we, we ought to. We'll talk a lot more to Kate in just Do a the competition. I like I a fun we'll Christmas competition. This Good. is about money. It's £10,000. That's what you can win if you have a go. OK, that's that done. Now, here's Kate Winslet. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning. How are Good we? Morning. Are we fresh and happy this morning? Yes, I'm fresh and happy, you know. You look always fresh, fresh and, happy. and happy. Oh, good. Well, somebody must be doing something <laughs> right then on my behalf. Are you travelling? There's no airbrushing on this show, Kate. No. <laughs> no, no. Well, is there a storm every time that y you come out and do any sort of sort of photo shoot? or? I don't know. I, I really... Uh, the honest answer is, I don't know. And it's just, you know, it's just one of those silly, crazy things that uh, I've learned to have to deal with. It's, it's the product fine. of all the attention you get, because you're good at your <laughs> job, you. aren't you? This film is wonderful. Thank you very thank much you indeed. Very I really much. had a nice, well, thank you nice for two hours in there watching The Reader. Just, yes. if you could just tell people roughly... Uh, the outline plot. Yes, the reader is. Um, I play a German woman in uh, in this film, directed by Stephen Daldry, and uh, it's set in post-war Germany, and uh, and it's a love story that actually spans 35 years. So I age from my age right up to about 68 years old. Um, the beginning of the story is um, central relationship between a young man and a woman who is twice his age, who is a tram conductress who seems to be shrouded in mystery, and they have an affair that lasts a summer and uh, she disappears and he doesn't know where she's gone or what's happened and eight years later uh, he's studying to be a law student and they meet under very different circumstances he's part of a seminar group uh, sitting in on the war crimes trials of 63 and six defendants are led into the courtroom and she is one of them and it turns out that she was an SS guard who served briefly in Auschwitz but uh, was a part of the death marches and is being convicted of having committed horrific crimes mm. against told, humanity. Told you it was intense. Mm. It's also it's absolutely intense. brilliant. Here's a clip. Quite a lot mm. of, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of that. There's quite a lot of that romance between Intimacy. <laughs> eroticism. It really there is. is. It's, um, did you feel comfortable with all of that? Yes, I absolutely did. I mean, the story, you know, it sort of happens in three acts in a way. And, uh, and on paper, the love story that we just saw a little bit of right there between myself and that young actor, David Cross, wonderful German mm -hmm. actor, um, on paper, it's sort of over by about page 25. So, you know, all of those very intimate scenes um, are very early on in the story. Um, but, you know, I get, uh, I get used to that type of thing. <laughs> that, 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 that you sort just, of attention. Uh, yeah, you just, uh, <clears throat> you just have to get through it. Did the role, did the role appeal to you straight away on, on first reading? Because it's quite, it was a, sh it's a short book, isn't it? Yes, um, <clears throat> it is a short book and funnily enough, you know, I'm not particularly well read. I don't mind admitting to that. And I'm, don't I'm have actually. Time to read, do you? I don't really. It's, yeah, it's, mm. you know, life is a juggle with the kids and everything. But, um, but I had actually read the novel uh, about six years ago when I was pregnant with our son Joe. And I read it in one day. I mean, the fact that I could even have a whole day to read, to a, read book a book from yes. start to finish Good. was a miracle. And I was just really, uh, really struck by it and really drawn in by this, uh, the beauty of this relationship. Another wonderful part of the relationship is that, um, is that he reads to her wonderful books and poetry yes. and it's really mm -hmm. it's really really touching very very um, loving and romantic and um, I was really uh, taken by that okay so so that's that one that's that one uh, you've been working <laughs> as one. well as being a mum <laughs> just and, put my other hat on a, for a minute and a, and a wife and, and everything else and building a home you've also done another film Revolutionary Road yes should we give, um, can we give a 10-second outline on that before you throw beautifully into your own clip? All you really need to know for the time being, because I'm coming back on, I think, to talk about that in January, it was directed by uh, my husband, Sam Mendes, which for the first time he and I have ever worked together uh -huh. at all. So that was really amazing. And it's myself and Leonardo DiCaprio being paired together again on screen for the first time in 12 years. Great. Um, and we play Frank and April Wheeler. Again, it's based on a novel set in an American suburb in the 50s um, about a couple who are struggling to be free, basically, looking for happiness and trying to fight against conformity and not living that rigid, polished, um, 50s suburban existence. They want something more. OK, here it is. OK, <laughs> and what's it like taking direction from Sam? Um, it was fantastic. I mean, it really was. You know, going into it, I thought, oh, I wonder if we'll have rows and things, <laughs> you know. I <laughs> wonder, right. wonder how that will be. But, um, but it was really, it was genuinely great. And he always treated me like the actress playing that part, yes. not his wife. And Actually, Paul Bettany said the same thing about Jennifer Connelly. The really? Other day. They, worked, they worked together and said it worked absolutely fine. It should do, really. There should be some chemistry between you. Yeah, you? you'd hope so. You'd yeah. hope so. Uh, no, it was a wonderful experience. And to work again alongside Leo, I mean, it was well, just fantastic. an absolute dream. I was very, very lucky. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Good luck. Uh, are you over here or double? in America? You Still actually not quite not sure, sure, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I keep saying to Sam, oh, let's just, you know... 
yeah. turn up to my mum and dad's in Reading and, nice. you know, have a feast. <laughs> right. So we'll see. We'll enjoy, have a lovely enjoy. time. And good luck thank with you. the two films. Excellent. Thank, thank you. Um, you. Um, Andrea much, thank has you. got the weather very soon and the rain's coming along soon too.